Hi everyone, this is Sindrik from Chick Dictionary Project. Hi. Um, uh, with another, not update, but a uh, small explanation of how I'm doing things and what uh, is possible to do with the, uh, with, the, uh, with the simulator and with the hardware you are using. Uh, so you know you are, I'm using Arduinos uh, for, you, uh, for controlling the analog gouges, which I have a lot of them here. It's actually 24 gouges on my instrument panel. Uh, you see all of them are cold and dark setup, uh, with the ex uh, exception of the full quantity gouges. That's because they are connected directly to the power source. In normal conditions, the power source is on the top of the rack and in front of the aircraft, which is just behind me, there are two relays, which are controlled by another Arduino, and which uh, says um, um, that uh, um, the relays are connecting the power from the power source to the instrument, but uh, because I have it connected directly there, they are um, on. So, in normal conditions, this will be off too. <coughs> um, the difference is in the flight simulator, all the instruments are showing a values and the engines are started. But I would like to show you uh, how I do things. So first off, I have uh, eight Arduinos here at the at the back, um, and uh, each of the Arduino is controlled by its own uh, small program, which I call controller. And um, I have a mine application, that's this one, and uh, here are all the controllers enlisted. There is another um, a page where I can see which uh, COM port is uh, binded to which controller, uh, but uh, you see all the controllers are stopped, so the application is not running. So the data from the school sky designer is not transferred via the application uh, and the COM port to, to the Arduinos. So uh, what I, I will do now is uh, I will turn on each of the controller and you s may see the interaction between uh, uh, the um, controller running and the actual instruments which are controlled by the Arduino. Uh, you see I have uh, start stop and uh, this uh, should be reset, it's all the version of the software. Uh, sure, I can start all the controllers at once. I have a uh, button here, start all, but I would like to show you uh, how each of the controller is uh, uh, is working. So, first of all, start with the standby gyroscope, which is right here, almost dead. It's still spinning a little bit because uh, it, uh, 10 minutes uh, ago uh, it was running and uh, the same Arduino, Arduino is also uh, uh, controlling the uh, engine synchronizer synchroscope uh, so I'll press the start button now and because the aircraft is in a uh, state that it should run uh, it will start to spin you see the uh, gyroscope starts to spinning um, I mean gyro inside gyroscope and I can align it and it should stay as where I put it so that means the gyro in the instrument starts to roll uh, the same for the synchroscope here nothing else with, will work, only these two uh, if I have trust only to the left engine uh, the synchroscope will turn start to turn to the left because the left engine uh, is faster the N1 of the left engine uh, is faster than uh, the right one. But you see, the actual N1 and N2 RPMs are not uh, running. I will put it back to idle, and you see it stops again. So uh, these two gouges are controlled by one Arduino and one software. If I uh, put to a uh, select, uh, you see only one application is running which is called uh, synchroscope I have left uh, and right and one I see the difference I see the synchro speed is now zero 
and the power is on and the gyro flag is, is a zero from the simulator but uh, the flag is now on because the um, gyro it has its own logic until it reaches some RPMs, I mean the gyro, uh, the flag will still be on so we need to wait about 4 minutes and then the flag will be off. Um, the other one is the EPR EGT. Again, if I press start, the EPR and EGT gadgets will start to show values. You see, uh, the EPR are showing 1.02 um, pressure ratio, and the EGTs are somewhere on 300 degrees, uh, same as in the simulator. So that's that's the other Arduino. Uh, the other is uh, fuel flow fuel used. That's these two gadgets here. You see they are showing zero, and uh, the fuel used is uh, showing uh, zero also. I will start them. Now you see the left and right um, um, fuel flow fuel used gadgets are that show some value. And also, uh, I mean the fuel used is zero now. It's uh, one of the things I need to fix because um, if I run, uh, it is fixed, but uh, I have all the controller in, in uh, binded to the software. But the fuel flow is showing like 1,000 uh, pounds per hour. Uh, the other one is the fuel quantity. So I'll start the fuel quantity. We should have. Uh, like 2,000, uh, sorry, 8,000, uh, 9,280 on the left and right, and uh, about 760 on uh, on the center. Uh, the right one still needs to be uh, calibrated or just fixed because the the motor has a problem. But the 9,280. And I have uh, 9,282 here on the left side, that's perfect. And on the center I have 636.35, uh, which is a little bit more here, uh, but uh, that's because the curvature of zero to full is not the same uh, as here. The capacitor simply needs uh, has a uh, different values, but for the purpose of uh, of, of fuel quantity, it's uh, it's, it's uh, pretty new. Uh, it's uh, it's enough. Um, the next controller is called uh, uh, oil engines both oil, so it will start to uh, all of these six things will start to uh, six um, gadgets will start to show its values. And also the fuel quantity, a uh, fuel temperature, which is also connected to that Arduino. I started that. If right now you see the oil pressure, the oil temperature, and oil quantity uh, starts to show uh, the value same as in the simulator, and um, the fuel temperature is also showing uh, same as in the flight simulator here. Uh, next controller is called uh, left RPM, so the left N1 and left N2 will start to spin. I started it now, so you see the RPMs are going into the same state as it is in the flight simulator. We got uh, 29er RPM on the N1 left engine and 55 RPM on the right engine. Uh, just the same as here, and the other um, is called the right RPM, so that's the same only for the right engine, a little boring, and the general ABN RAT will put a correct temperature into the RAT, uh, RAT EPR uh, gouge, and it is also controlling the flaps, uh, so the flaps here are at 15, and the RAT uh, shows 12 degrees centigrade. So if I turn on this uh, controller, it will uh, it will happen that these two gadgets will start to show. Uh, you see, 12 degrees centigrade, and the flaps are on 15. So that's uh, that's all controllers started for for the uh, for the uh, engine instrument panel. Um, 
Uh, just a quick demonstration of the synchroscope, which when the N1 is running faster on left or right region, it uh, starts to sh uh, starts to spinning faster uh, because um, uh, the engine uh, is uh, giving uh, more N1 um, than the other one. Um, the only problem I have here is uh, that the actual N1 shown in uh, on the panel doesn't correspond uh, with the value in the flight simulator, which is a little bit faster, but I'm not able to send the signal to N1 and N2 that fast as it happens in the Kulskadis manner. But still you see there is more N1 on the left engine, so the synchroscope is still running to the left. Once the uh, N1 uh, are equal, uh, the synchroscope will start. And the same is valid for the right engine. If I put the um, um, trust to the right engine only, uh, it will show more. And now it stops again. And now, how I it may occur that uh, a problem is with the, the particular Arduino on the back, so it stuck. So, how about solve that? Um, without needing to touch the instrument from behind because uh, the instrument is in the panel. Um, I will first need to stop all the, all the controllers by clicking stop on it. So I will stop all of them. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, so these controllers are no longer running and um, I can do now uh, that I remove the USB cable from the hub, that's the 7 Arduino, and one more hub, uh, one more um, USB from the 8 Arduino, that's 7 and 8 here. And um, you see, these Arduinos are still running and they are still showing something, uh, with exception of these two, uh, that's, this, uh, that's the extra. A cable that I removed, um, but all the others are powered from the hub, so I will need to put away the power from the hub and the five volts in general. Now all all the instruments are dead again, and now I'm able to put these two uh, power supplies back. And if I'm successful. I should be able to restart all the controllers. I will put back the USB. Let's hope it will work. And I also uh, put back the USB for the um, left RPM. Check it right now. And now. I can do the same, so I will start the standby gyro. Start, it is running. I will start the EPREGT, it's running. Fuel flow, fuel used, running. FQI, running. Oil, running. Left RPM, running. Right RPM, running. And RAT, running. And I have uh, the panel back in the state that was uh, before, so. All the Arduinos was reset, all the panel was, was restarted, each Arduino on the back has been turned off and back on, and you see I'm back in the state that was had before. Um, everything uh, is back on the flight simulator um, state, so um, if I add trust here on both engines, uh, it is still working well, it is just doing uh, what it should. If I put a full thrust, see the right RPM was a little faster, so the synchroscope was running. Okay guys, so that's, uh, that's the instrument, uh, engine instrument panel. Um, I'm giving you an explanation of how I do things and also how to be prepared uh, if you have a problem so that you can restart the whole panel. Indrik from Czech Nanner. I